Hello everyone and welcome to scanning slides using our Epson scanner in the Digital Media Lab. Begin by opening up the scanner and move the white plastic piece on top of the scanner. Next, go into our cupboard and on the top shelf, Mark Picasso, grab the plastic black jigs that are in the Tupperware container. You'll notice on the left hand side there are tabs marked A, B, and C. You're going to grab the one jig with the C tab and line it up inside your scanner. Grab your slides and begin placing them in the four squares. Don't worry which way they're put down, you can change that afterwards. Next, go to the desktop and click on the Epson scan icon. The program will begin to open. A new window will open and at document type, click the drop down menu and select film. At film type, instead of black and white, click positive film. And for image type, click 48 bit color. For your resolution and using slides, it's best to use a 1500 DPI dots per square inch. After this, click on the preview button at the bottom of your window and it will begin to scan your slides in a preview mode. This will take a little bit of time, so please be patient. After it's been previewed, you have an option to rotate your images by clicking the icons on the left-hand side of your window. If you want to select multiple items, just hold down shift while you're selecting all of your different slides. Once all your slides are selected, if you go back to your other window, you have an option to unsharpen mask. You can green reduction. You can also do a color restoration. And you can also do backlighting for your slides. This will help give it a better look or even restore some of your faded, sepia toned, or overexposed images. Next, you can hit the scan button and you can choose where you're going to save your files. Under Portfolio, you can type in the title name, start the number at 1, and choose where you're going to save your images. Today we're going to select the desktop. Make sure your image format is changed to a JPEG and then click OK. Your slides will begin scanning and make sure that you're moving your mouse during this time. It will take a couple of minutes. Once your images are done scanning, a window will open and you can see what your images will now look like. Click the red dot to close that window and double click on your other images just to ensure everything has been scanned properly. Open up the scanner and remove your slides and you can either put a new group of slides in and repeat those following steps or, if you are finished, please make sure that you put the jigs back into the cupboard and you put the white plastic backing back into the scanner. And you've just learned how to scan slash digitize all of your slides. Thank you and have a great day.